I have imported the surveyed points and point clouds into AutoCAD Civil 3D and have created CAD line work. Now I will review surface and contour creation. Before creating a surface from the point cloud data, I will clean up the drawing a little. Select the point cloud, navigate to the point cloud ribbon, and open the point cloud manager. I will deselect all the regions except for the ground region. In the Home ribbon under the Ground Data tab, select Create Surface from Point Cloud. A new dialog will appear in which you can add a surface name and description. Click the arrow and select a surface style or use the style selection options to create a new style. Select the magnifying glass to open the Style Detail dialog box where you can preview the style and view information about the style. Select a render material and choose a layer on which the surface will be created. In this tutorial, the layer will be contour. Click here to open the object layer dialog box where you can select a different layer for the surface. Select next and use these options to select point clouds and areas of the point clouds. You can select an entire point cloud, add a selected area of the point cloud, or remove a selection from the list. I will select the ground point cloud to create a surface. The list shows the selection, point cloud name, point selected, and percentage to import. You can adjust the percentage by changing the value that is displayed in the distance between points column. Finally, select next and use the non-ground point filtering page to filter out points not at ground level. This is a useful tool in the case that a car, building, or fence object is included in the point cloud region. The Planner Average method calculates an average between the elevations of the points and then filters out the points that are at an elevation above the average. This method is faster than the Kriggen interpolation, but will filter out fewer non-ground points. The Kriggen interpolation method interpolates new data points to build curves and filters the points above the elevation of the curves. The no filter method will apply no corrections and all points selected in the point cloud will be used to calculate the contours. Select create surface. Depending on the number of points and contour intervals, this process may take several minutes. You can continue creating line work or working while the surface is being created. Once the surface has been created, it will appear in the prospector tab underneath surfaces. To view the surface in greater detail, select the surface and click Object Viewer. A new dialog box will appear to view the selected objects in your drawing. With this viewer, you can specify the appearance style, pan, zoom, and multiple other options to view the data. To focus the contours onto the region necessary, create a closed boundary around the region of interest. Polygons, polylines, and parcels can be used to create a surface boundary. In the Prospector tab, expand Surfaces, the Surface, and Definition. Right-click Boundaries and select Add. Name the boundary and select the boundary type. Specify whether a boundary uses non-destructive break lines when created. To edit surface settings, right-click the surface and click Edit Surface Styles. Use the dialog box to view and change surface-related settings such as information, borders, contours, grid, points, triangles, watersheds, analysis, display, and summary. For this dataset, I will edit the contour intervals to have a minor interval of 25 cm and a major interval of 50 cm. Then, select Apply to save these changes. Use the Display tab to isolate or unisolate layers within the surface. The contours created here contain all points from the point cloud data. To simplify the surface, remove contour spikes, and make the contours look smoother, you can reduce the number of points or triangles while preserving the surface accuracy. Select the surface, and on the Surface tab under the Modify panel, click the Edit Surface drop-down and select Simplify Surface. A new dialog will appear in which you can specify the simplification method, the region options, and point reduction options. One of the options for simplification is the edge contraction, which will contract triangle edges to single points. This will result in a removal of one point. The point removal method will select and remove surface points, and more points will be removed from the denser areas of the surface. 
In the next page, options are available for selecting portions of the point cloud. I will smooth the entire surface. Finally, configure the amount of points being reduced in the surface. This procedure may be completed multiple times to smooth the contour lines. Finally, elevation labels can be added to the contour lines on the surface. Select the surface and in the surface toolbars, expand the command Add Labels. Many options are available to add labels, including single and multiple labels. I will select the contour multiple command. Specify the start and end points of the contour label line and hit enter. Labels will appear along the contour lines. Select the labels and properties in the top toolbar to configure the settings. The next tutorial in this series will outline the final steps to plot the plan on a template for a final deliverable to the client.